All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. To all of the brothers on the four corners teaching sound doctrine. Okay. Right here is a basic lesson. Okay. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. Uh, I think I'm going to name it. Uh, okay. Precept on pre precept upon precept. How to read the Bible or how to read the Bible precept upon precept. Yeah. Okay. Now let's jump into it. Okay. Now, a lot of people, you know, open their Bibles and get frustrated because, you know, uh, they don't understand how to read the Bible or they don't understand a certain passage or scripture or script. Right. And, uh, you know, some people are just blinded because the most high blinded them, you know, the most high darkened their eyes and closed their ears, you know. But uh, matter of fact, let's let's jump straight into a. a um. Let's get a definition real quick, okay? Uh, because I wanted to get a couple of definitions real quick, a couple on Google, and then, we'll, of course, we'll get the uh, Strong's. Let's get this word script, okay? Let's get the word script, okay? It's a beautiful thing. Forget about it, <laughs> okay? But nah, you know, all jokes aside, okay? Script, okay? Uh, handwriting, a writing, uh, autograph, uh, letters, okay, penmanship, scribble, right, okay, uh, uh, it says right here one, okay, it says uh, handwriting as a distinct, as distinct from print, written characters, okay, and uh, over here too, we got a, we got the written text of a play, movie, or broadcast, okay. And this, uh, and this Bible is broadcasted to you by Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai via, you know, the Israelites, okay, the prophets, you know, the apostles, Yahweh Shai, okay. It, it's inspired by Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai, okay. So let's see, text, book, screenplay, okay. How do, how you gonna uh, understand the screenplay if you don't know how to watch the movie, okay? And that's what they do. They they have all these different scenes, and they and they uh 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 they come, what is it compartmentalize? They they form it in a certain formula, a certain way, to where you could uh you know so it could captivate the re the the viewer. Okay, so this is why people get frustrated, you know, not understanding uh precept, you know, precepts. Okay, uh, let's get this uh. Dialogue, okay, lyrics, score, lines, okay, see, line upon line, okay, manuscript, okay, let's see what else they got right here, okay, matter of fact, let's get another word, and it still has script in it, it's called prescription, okay, it's medicine, right, okay, uh, what do you know, oh, okay, Salakia. Prescription definition, okay? <clears throat> Salakia. Okay. Uh, prescription. Okay. Prescription. Okay. Uh, law. Uh, see definitions in medical and law. Okay. Prescription. An instruction written by a medical practitioner. Who is who is the medical practitioner? Yahweh Shah. He's the healer. Okay. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Uh, he says, uh, what is that? Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. He says, you know, I am he. I am the one that heals. I kill. Okay. So uh, a prescription. Uh, precept also means prescription. Okay. It's an, inst uh, an instruction written by a medical practitioner that authorizes a patient to be provided a medicine or treatment. Okay. The script, the, 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 uh, the script, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the scriptures are medicine. Okay, there are medicine. Okay, and it's a mystery to some people, and that's the next definition we're gonna get. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get that precept too. Okay, Lord willing, I don't forget. Okay, 
Uh, so let's get this instruction order a direction see a order let's see what that says the arrangement or disposition of people or things in relation to each other according to a particular sequence pattern or method see that's why okay well let's jump over here real quick we'll come right back uh okay let me not forget uh, to get mysteries you know okay so look peep this out okay isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9 whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Salakia. Let me get this. Uh, I'm, let me jump over uh, real right here real quick. Okay. And hopefully I don't go too far off, but I'm trying to uh, trying to get you. Oh, look, I'm already here. I'm trying to get some people to understand. Okay. I'm trying to wake up the elect, you know, uh, and, and, and all spirit and truth. Okay. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? OK, what's doctrine? OK. Uh, it's a feminine passive participle of the Hebrew word 8074. Something heard. Uh, OK, a bruit, doctrine, fame, mention, news, a report, rumor, tidings. OK. Uh uh mention news okay the good news right how to understand the good news how to understand the good report the report okay the report of yahweh bashem yahweh shai how to hear the rumor of yahweh bashem yahweh shai the tidings okay the fame okay how to hear what's mentioned of yahweh bashem yahweh shai okay whom shall he make to understand that it says them that are winged okay let's get that for you winged okay it's a primitive root to treat a person well or ill, that is, uh, benefit or requit, by implication of toil or to ripen, okay? You know, to ripen, to be ripe like fruit, okay? To be full, okay? To be uh, finished, okay? That is specifically to wean. You know, you know how the mothers, you know, you, you, you're breastfeeding, okay? And uh, you don't have to breastfeed anymore. The baby's weaned off the, uh, off the, off the breast, okay? Because it, it, it's full, it's full out of that stage, it's, it, you know. So whom shall he teach to understand sound doctrine? Okay. Those that are weaned from the milk. Okay, let's get that word milk. Okay. Chalab. Chalab. It's the Hebrew word 2461 or uh from the same as Hebrew word 2459. Milk as the richness of kind, uh, like kindred, right? Cheese, milk, sucking, okay, the sucking of the breast, okay. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast, okay. And this is who he out he shall teach to understand sound doctrine, okay. And this is how. For precept, okay, and look, boom, commandment, right? Sava. Sava. The Hebrew word 6673. From the Hebrew word 6680, an injunction, commandment, precept, okay? So, for precept must be upon precept, okay? And, and, and let's get, uh, we're going to get that too over here in, uh, in the dictionary, Oxford or Webster's, whichever one, Google, okay? And, you know, you can't always trust Google with everything, but, you know, uh, the spirit will lead you. And we'll get precept right here. And uh, I believe I, I checked it out a long time ago, and that's why I seen the word script at in this definition. Okay. See, look, right? A general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. Okay. The principle. Okay. Okay. The rule, the tenet, you know, tenet is like rule, you know, the uh, principle, right? A principle or belief, especially one of the main principles of a religion or philosophy. OK, just like in that bullshit ass Freemason shit, you know, they have the tenets of Freemasonry. OK, <clears throat> oh, look, you got doctrine right here. OK, a belief or set of beliefs held and taught by a church, political party or other group. OK, a guideline. See, precept must be upon precept. OK, to guide you to understand what doctrine. OK, sound doctrine, the doctrine of Yahweh Shah. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's doctrine. Okay, law. See, 
the body of divine commandments as expressed in the Bible or other religious texts. It's really the Bible, okay? Okay. Ordinance, okay? We gotta keep, we want to keep all of the ordinances of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All the law, statutes, commandments, ordinances, precepts, okay? Uh uh statue, see? Command, commandment, order. See the order of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? You want to be in the order of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah instead of the order of you know Esau, okay? Because their order is not in order. Okay, a decree. Wow. An official order issued by a legal authority. See, who's the legal authority of Israel? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. I think that's enough right there. Let me get this word mystery before we forget it. And then we'll jump over to that mystery. Matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it right here. We'll get it right here. So let's see what they're talking about. Okay, mystery, uh, um, definitions in film, you know, literature, okay, religion, okay, see, in history, okay, something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain, you know, and the Most High said he was going, you know, he was going, uh, 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 he was going, uh, blind certain people, you know, the two thirds are blind. Okay, so this ain't for you two thirds. This is for the elect. Okay, and we take our time to try to wake up the elect, just like someone woke me up. You know, brothers woke me up. You know, okay, and they trickled on down from the elders of GMS. Okay, something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain. A puzzle, an enigma, a conundrum. You know, conundrum means puzzle. Okay, a confusing and difficult problem or question. Okay, that's why it's difficult. A secret, right? A riddle. You know, Yahweh Shai spoke in parables. They're like, man, why are you talking to us in parables? Damn, let's get that. Uh, nah, let me stay on point real quick. You know, if you read, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, in Matthew, it's in Matthew, it's in Mark, it's in Luke. Okay, they they're like, why are you speaking to us in riddles? Because. Yahweh Shai said this ain't for everybody. Okay, just like the uh, I think it's in Proverbs. What it say? Uh, give not thy uh, uh. Oh no, it says uh. Uh, damn, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to screw this one up. Okay, let me get that swine dog. Okay, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine. The pearls, let's see, let's get that. Uh, pearls, okay? Okay? Let's see what it says right here. Uh, uh, margaritas, okay? A pearl, oyster, a pearl, okay? It's not really going to it, but what are the pearls, you know? It's like jewelry, it's flashy, it's, it's, it's the business, it's worth something, it's valuable, okay? Okay? Cast ye not, oh, it says, uh, neither cast ye your pearls before swan. That's why Yahweh Shai spoke in parables, okay? Oh, th this is the chapter, okay? But okay, let's stay on point. <clears throat> I think this is the chapter, if I'm not mistaken, okay? But, uh, okay, cast ye, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet. They, they you know, you going to tell these two thirds the mystery for what? They don't, they don't give a damn about the mysteries of your how about Shimei Al Shai? Okay. Uh, and turn again and rend you. Okay. Rend. Let's get that. Okay. Burst, tear, break forth, throw down. Okay. Like the word surrender to give up, to give back. Okay. They're going to give it back. They, they, they don't want it. So that's why it's a mystery to them. Okay. Get back to this definition real quick. Okay. Uh, a question mark, a problem, a closed book. Okay. All right. Now let's get back in this scripture over here. Let's uh, lock you. Just one second, real quick. For a precept, uh, we're going to start back at verse 10. For a precept must be upon precept. That means one command over here or one script over here. That's what I wanted to get. Uh, uh, prescription. Okay. Right. Scripture. Okay. Script. Okay. We, we, we know this. Okay. For precept must be upon precept. 
Yep. Precept upon precept. Huh? Yep. Line upon line. Okay. And what? Line upon line. Okay. So you got to read a line over here, another line over here, then a line over there, another line over there. Okay. Then back. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of that. Okay. Uh, Psalms 119. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Psalms 119. Okay. And, and we will go to Psalms 119. Okay. And uh, here a little and there a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me jump right back into uh, Isaiah chapter 28. You get me? Okay. So let's go uh, with that being said. Let's get uh let's get Psalms 119. And I, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but as edifying as possible to the hopeful elect. Okay, to the elect. Okay. <clears throat> and matter of fact, uh okay, we'll just start from the top, okay. Okay, this is Psalms chapter 119, starting from the top. I left. Okay, and that's the modern Hebrew of the, you know, like uh, the word A, you know, alphabet. Okay, uh, that's the first, uh, what, is that a consonant, uh, uh, vowel? Okay, the first letter of the uh, Hebrew alphabet. Okay. Uh, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, remember, law means precept, right? Commandment, right? We know that law means commandment, and we know commandment means precept, and so forth and so on. All these words we just went over, okay? Okay, blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. See, testimonies, let, let's get that real quick, okay? I, I got to get that real quick. Can't let it pass you, man. I'm trying to make this edifying as possible. Man, through the spirit of Yahweh, spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shot. Okay, testimonies. Okay, witness. Okay, in its technical sense, testimony, witness. That that wasn't very uh, that wasn't very fruitful. Okay, but you know Esau ain't gonna put it all in there for us. You know we could go to Google and search it, but you know this is probably gonna be a bit a bit lengthy. Uh, okay, because Jake ain't really got uh got patience to you know watch a whole video. Okay, blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Okay, and I'm going to go off a little bit right here. This is how you learn how to pray. Okay, the scriptures teach you how to pray and what to pray for you. You'll be like, oh, man, I know I ain't been keeping his testimonies. Okay, man. And that explains why I don't seek him with a whole heart. So you stop and pause after the first thing, be like, oh, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham. Okay, you bless them, okay? And then you make your request known, okay? Let me keep your testimonies. Babakasha, 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 that I may seek you with my whole heart. Babakasha, 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 the water, Amon, okay? Verse three, they also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways, okay? Oh, that's another prayer right there. Okay. People don't know what to pray for. All you got to do is crack open that Bible. And that's another thing. You know, you could, uh, you know, you could, you could, you could get, uh, you could get fed by how about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha, Hakadash, you know, by simply looking up a word. Okay. And, and, and that's how this lesson came to me, you know. You know, so, uh, my sister, you know, you know, had a question. Okay. Uh, referring to precept upon precept. And I broke it down to her, but hold on, let me let me break it down even more. Okay. And this and, and I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. But look, because right, we need to know how to pray. Okay. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. So boom, pause. Oh, dang, you start getting confounded and ashamed when you're reading the scriptures. Okay. You start getting confounded. And that's how, and the spirit led me to this truth, led me to uh, the uh, elders and apostles, a great millstone and all the brothers, a great millstone. Okay. They teach and rule well. Okay. Yeah. I've seen other camps and I, I was bugged out before and I followed this camp, that camp all at the same time, you know, and then I fell, And then I reread the Bible again and I know, and I see who's get delivering this truth. Okay. Great millstone. Okay. We ain't praising Great Millstone, but I, I, I'm just, I, I'm not lying about it. You know, in all spirit and truth. Okay. So you, you stop and you be like, damn, I'm convicted. You know, uh, uh, 
you know, I have many iniquities and transgressions and sins. You know, I ain't walking in his ways. I done read Deuteronomy 28, found out I was a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, my. Okay. So you stop and you be like, oh, yeah, yeah, how about Shem, yeah, how shy? Barakatham. Or, you know, the other way, you know, you bless his name, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, say that three times, okay? Then you give him thanks, the Wadi Yahweh, the Wadi Yahweh Shai, say that three times and be like, okay, uh, let me walk in your ways, okay? So that I may do no iniquity. Babakasha, which means please, Babakasha, Babakasha, the water, Amon, okay? And we're going to jump right back on point to this lesson, okay? How to read the Bible, precept upon precept. Verse four, thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Okay. What does diligent mean? Okay. Diligent means, you know, doing your homework, do your due diligence. Okay. Uh, mailed. Okay. Uh, let's get that in. Uh, let's get that. Let's see how to pronounce that in uh blue letter. You know, they'll pronounce it for us. Just bear with me one moment. Okay. Just a second, we'll be right over there, you know. I just want this to be edifying to the elect, you know. And then, you know, some people are going to watch this and be like, uh, what's this? Look, and some people are going to watch this, you know, that aren't of the elect. And then, you know, when that day comes, when they uh have to get their judgment, you know, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you heard the brother from GMS. Oh, yeah, you walk right past them brothers that was out there on that corner, okay? And then I sent you another video. I made it pop up on your on your device, you know, but you, you didn't take heed, okay? See, look, uh, this is what I was looking up earlier before I did this. Command, ordinance, okay? But let me get uh, out of here. Uh, what word was I going to get? Uh, oh, yeah. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 3, okay? diligently okay it's the hebrew word three nine six five or uh the hebrew word three nine six six okay strong's h thirty nine sixty six meod 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 okay it's a masculine adjective, uh, adverb, substantive, okay? The root etymology is from the same as uh, H1A1, okay? What does that say? Uh, okay. Uh, exceedingly much, okay? Might, force, abundance, let's see, okay? Diligently, okay? Yeah, exceedingly much. D diligently seek his precepts, okay? much with, you know, exceedingly, you know, with might, you know, with force, with abundance, you know, you into it with muchness, okay, abundantly seeking his precepts, to do his precepts, okay, to a great degree, with muchness, okay, okay, so, uh, Verse four, thou has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. See, that's a command. That's a whole nother prayer you got to send up. Okay. That's why it says meditate on, 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 the, on the word of Yehovah Hashem, Yehovah Shai. Okay. You got to meditate on the word. Don't just read it like it's a book. It's not just a book. Okay. So boom, you know, I'll be Yehovah Hashem, Yehovah Shai, Hashem, Rakakadesh. Okay. Let me keep your, let me keep your commandments, okay? Let me keep your precepts diligently, just like you commanded. Babakasha, 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 the water, Aman, okay? And you can pause this video at any time and, and you know, and say this prayer, you know, as well, okay? Or any, any precept that you see on here, you know? Verse five, oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes, see? That's it. You know, this is this is a prayer, man. Is this David? OK. Saying, man, oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. That's another prayer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I asked that you let me my ways, you know, be directed to keep your statutes. Babakasha, 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 the water, Amon. OK. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments? See, you're not going to be confounded. Okay, let's get that. Okay, 
You know, because these are words that you can use in prayer. Okay. A shame. Okay. Strong's H954. Boosh. 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 Okay. To put to shame, be ashamed, be disconcerted, disappointed. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, and, and I could go with that that last prayer, you know. Uh uh Oh, that my ways direct were directed to keep thy statutes, you know. That's when you ask him let, let you know, ask him to uh direct uh direct you. Because remember, uh, precepts is guideline, remember? Guide you to keep the statutes so that you don't be ashamed. Because why? I mean, not because, you know. So that, you know, uh, and, and, you know, that's something else you could pray for, that you respect all his commandments. OK. Uh, verse seven, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. See, you ask, you how about Shimmy, how was I, you know, uh, to teach you his righteous judgments. OK. And that you could uh, that you could praise him up with uprightness of heart. Okay. And then Babakasha, Babakasha, Babakasha. You get it? Please, please, please. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to keep it a short lesson. But this chapter is most definitely uh, a chapter that you should read. Okay. You, you must read this. See, look, I'll get one more. Okay. Uh, uh, Psalms chapter 119, verse 15, okay? It says, I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. And I'll pray this one with you guys and then we'll cut it off there, okay? Or we'll go back to Isaiah, then cut it off, okay? So, so we we say, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash, Barakatham, okay? Bless you guys, okay? Bless the Allahim, okay? And then you, uh, you ask him, you know, let me let me meditate in your precepts and let me res let me have respect unto thy ways. OK, his ways are his precepts. OK, and then you just keep it short and simple. But, and then you ask him, please, please, please. And then you thank him and then you close that thing out. And if you think he ain't going to answer those prayers, hey, this ain't for you. OK. And then we're going to go back to Isaiah chapter 28. Uh, OK. Oh, uh, well, oh, I think I did read those. <clears throat> Bear with me one moment. Okay. One moment. Yep. I'll just read it again one more time. Okay. Starting at verse nine. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom, whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Okay. You're getting this milk right now. Okay. For precept must be upon precept. Yep. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, okay? For with stammering lips and another tongue, he will speak to his people, you know, pray for him to speak to you. You are Israel, okay? To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. See, this is where you get your peace from, okay? Let's get that word rest, okay? A primitive root uh, to uh, to rest, you know, that is to settle down using a great variety of applications, literally and figuratively. OK, in transitive and transitively, transitively and causatively like to dwell, you know, to let fall, you know, to let alone to give comfort. That's what, it, you know, to give you a rest, your comfort. Right. Peace. OK. <clears throat> And this is the refreshing, right? Refreshing. Let's get that. Okay. Shama. Shama. Okay. A primitive root. To hear intelligently. Okay. To hear. Hearken. Obey. Publish. Understand. Obediently. Whoa. See? Diligently. Okay. With muchness, you know, to seek out. Okay. Uh, to shoot, to sound, to declare, to discern, see? Noise, right? To perceive, 
Okay. And uh, let's lock it. And this is the refreshing. Okay. The refreshing. And this is the refreshing. This is uh, uh, the... Uh, the uh sound right okay the 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 uh the peace the refreshing okay yet they were not here but the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was unto them precept upon precept precept upon precept line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken see just like it said up here, you know, uh, uh, in Psalms 119, okay? Because, uh, you know, you get confounded when you start hearing this truth, okay? And then you're like, damn, man, these, 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 this church taught me bull stuff. They didn't teach me. They ain't never taught me the Bible. All that pastor did was just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, you know, but they ain't bringing nothing out. We, don't, we didn't know the Bible, okay? So uh, with that being said, I hope that this was edifying to the elect, okay? I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule and teach well, okay? The brothers out there on the corners preaching sound doctrine, out here on these YouTube streets preaching sound doctrine, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Shalom, Barakatham.